There are so many great characters in Billions. I love that they have their own arc and you really get to know each of them. I thought it'd be interesting to rank them as players in this great financial game to understand their strengths and weaknesses. Let's start with the main man, Bobby Axelrod. He's a competitive, alpha male, billionaire. Obviously he has to be among the top tier. His build has infinite memory and super fast analytics. He's got special abilities like writing big checks if needed and can also get the help of shady characters. He's a very offensive player, but that means he keeps opening himself to danger, sometimes for no reason or without the right payoff, like he does in season 5 with the banking obsession that we've analyzed before in this channel. Bobby Axelrod wants to be a bank. I find his ego and his stubbornness are major weaknesses. Once he's set his mind on something, he cannot change track. And that's not good when you're an investor. The ranking is also not just about the character himself. It's where he sits in the game. And Axelrod has made too many enemies. Because of all those weaknesses, I'm going to put him in B. I know this is controversial, but if I told you he's arrested tomorrow, it wouldn't be a huge surprise, right? Now let's look at Chuck. In many ways, he matches Axelrod with his special networking skills and superior intellect. He derives a huge power from his position as an official. Within his office, he has immense defense abilities. He could sit there and lay low. He could have a long career in the administration and maybe go to the public to make extra money. But we know he's not going to do that. He's a character that always goes on the offense and puts himself in a position of vulnerability. He has emotional weaknesses and he's also made a lot of enemies and I wouldn't be surprised if some of them bite him back. But he goes in B with Axelrod. Now let's look at a few characters that we know can't rank too high. How do we rank them comparatively? Maffy has not demonstrated great intellectual strength. What if you create a zero cost collar? Right. His defense is weak. He's demolished by Wendy or Taylor when Taylor was just an intern. Even physically, he cannot beat Dollar Bill in a boxing match and Dollar Bill looks much older. Maybe his strength is that there's something trustworthy and reliable about him, which means he could move jobs. Ben Kim has a sharper intellect. He's shown brilliant moments. I've been tracking rental car usage in business cities, developing relationships with managers there. But in the hedge fund world, it's not about being smart. It's about leveraging it to make money. And Ben didn't even manage to get a raise after he had his moments of glory. Well fucking done, Ben Cam. Dollar Bill is older, wiser, not physically very strong, not super smart, but well connected and has access to a special power of insider knowledge. So that makes him rank in terms of his ability to make money much higher than the Abrax employees. Again, he cannot be too high because he has no defense, he can quickly crumble if exposed. Now Taylor is a player that has the intellectual power of the two main characters. Taylor lacks experience but they are not just a trader. They set up a new firm with strong organizational intelligence, with a good structure. They can be an entrepreneur. And what's a special skill is that they know how to have a small loss in order to keep going. So this super rationality, unaffected by emotions, puts them in A, in my opinion. Now, who's the apex players that stands above the rest? That player has to be smart, of course, connected, and with a great position in the game, so that none of the other players can hurt them. I feel the only player that can create alliances with others and unite them or make them fight against each other is Wendy. We know she's smart, rich, her special skill is psychology, and none of the other players can harm her. In fact, other players are looking for her friendship. Even if she doesn't have the great attack and earning power of a Bobby, she's in a much safer place. The worst that could happen to her is lose her doctor title. And even that would not have a major impact, but it's not happening because other characters come to the rescue. 
I feel she's got plenty of opportunities to rebound if things don't go well. And still maintaining a full upside if things turn out okay. So she deserves to be on top of the list and the only S-rated player. Thanks for watching. Tell me who you've got. Let me know in your comments below how is your ranking and what you think about my ranking. And please subscribe for more analysis about alternative finance and also billions coming soon.